हेलो एवरी वन एवर गुड मर्णिंग टू अल अफ यू उड लाइक टू ओलकम टू अल टू आवर दिस सेसन अफ मुख्यमंत्री रिसर्च फेलोशिप टेस्ट पेपर सल्विंग टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इट मे बी माइ सेल्फ हु विल आस् द क्वेश्चन ह्वाय एम आर एफ टी the importance of the question of mr ft i believe you all know what is mukhyamantri research fellowship test it is a new initiative by the government of odisha to facilitate a financial assistance to the interesting researchers those who want to carry forward their career in academic line so we are not going to discuss what is the benefit what are the criteria and different thing but our objective here to understand the questions which asked in your mr ft so if i ask the question why mr ft why it's important for those are preparing for ssb lecture or pgt lectures why the first thing we need to understand ssb conduct the mrft who conduct the examination ssb conduct the mrft so it is important for also us that uh, as we prepare for the ssb lecture and pgt simultaneously it's also important to crack and practice the questions a political science which conducted by ssb be it your mukhyamantri research fellowship or the pgt or lectures the second objective to help to revise the concept to revise the concept through the question and also learn new questions to learn new question this session is going to helpful and the third objective that is the last not the least maintain consistency so through the question practice it will help to maintain the consistency so this is how the three broader objective which i am going to highlight each and every questions so guys i believe this much is pretty clear to all of you so before starting our today discussion there is a important quotations forwarded by confucius that education breeds confidence education breeds confidence confidence breeds hope hope breeds peace so if i will conclude there are the three keyword education confidence confidence hope hope peace so education education then hope then peace so according to confucius 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 if you educated for example if we educated we get the education then automatically a hope automatically a hope will be create in our understandings or with ourselves hope and this hope will result into peace obviously so we can also apply this thing in our preparation that if we educated if we learn something then it will automatically create hope it automatically create confidence that yes we have practiced too much question we have extensively covered the syllabus of the ssb lecture and pgt and that will result into confidence and this confidence will create a hope now yes this time we are hope to crack this examination okay we are hope to crack this examination and obviously if you will crack the examination definitely peaceful life with you a long drive peaceful life with you so this is how education breeds confidence confidence breeds hope and hope breeds peace this is said by confucius so i believe that why not uh, discuss before discussing the question why not uh, see one of the beautiful quotation that uh, 
help to energize help you energetic ourselves regarding our preparation okay because we are in a we are all in a river of uncertainty okay we don't know when the exam will conduct we don't know even when will the admit card is released but still we are hope to crack this examination because we are educated because we have a confidence because we have a hopes and we deserve the peace so this is the line which talks about the true reality of the human life okay guys so with this positive note i would like to start our discussion let's start political science so here the mix of question are there from the research or from the paper paper one and the paper two but believe me most of the question from the paper two so you don't need to worry about that so first question in front of you what is called the phenomena when the radiation observed by the atmosphere is radiated towards the surface of earth so it is a question of environment okay it is a question of environment because it is the question for the research test okay but it will help to watch for the easy net also and also for our ssp because there is a some question of most of the question not some most of the question from the political science okay so what is called the phenomena when the radiation absorbed by the atmosphere is radiated towards the surface or so what is the correct answer of this question smoke newton effect darwin effect greenhouse gas so option d is the answer that is how greenhouse gas the concept of radiation absorbed by the atmosphere is radiated towards the surface of earth so it is known as the greenhouse effect okay so this is how we don't need to go in detail but just the answer option d is the answer okay then another question delta formed by the confluence of ganga brahmaputra and meghna river is known as what option a sundarbans delta godavari mahanadi and krishna the correct answer this question option a so sundarbans delta so we don't need to go in detail ha huh. our political science question is here joint sitting of the parliament is presided by whom presided by president vice president speaker or prime ministers presided by by the whom so option what option let's see option c is the answer speaker c is the answer which article you need to know which article talks about joint sitting and also you need to also know that who called the joint sitting we all know speaker is responsible for preside of the joint sitting in lok sabha similarly in okay uh, who is basically responsible to call the joint sitting that you need to also know this is your work okay then puna pact was signed in september 1932 mahatma gandhi and option a makne donald nehur ambedkar and lord wellington okay so correct answer of this question option c that b r ambedkar option c then who is the first indian cricketer to have a grabbed bcci poly umrigar award three times so option c is virat kohli but i don't know why this kind of question uh, the ssb is interesting to ask uh, to the researchers so why is the objective what is the objective behind that a researcher need to know about the polit- the cricketers who in the wawa different thing look like it's a question of bank po or ssc okay so this kind of i i don't expect from the ssb that this kind of immature questions so let's see it's the interest of the interest depend upon the interest of your ssb examiner that uh, like under which uh, understanding they frame the question but it is open to criticism also let's see another question here they try to play with hodge okay i will let you know which one of the following statement correct about mithyayago okay mithyayago was formed in august 2016 no it is all no it is the not august 2016 it is the 2015 so january 2015 mithyayago multiple time we discussed Nityayog comes under the Minister of Conference, uh, Con- Commerce and Industry. No, it is not the Minister of Commerce and Industry. It is incorrect. The full form of Nityayog is National Institute for Transforming India. Here you can see how they play with thoughts, because we all know that most of people confuse. Huh? Yes, it is correct. No, it is not correct. It is not correct. Why? Let me ask. Let me tell you. that nityayago stand for national institution not the institute how they play with a single word if you miss the single word then your 1.5 mark is went in hell okay went to hell 
सो इट इज नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इंडिया नॉट नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ओके इट इज द इंस्टीट्यूशन ओके दैट्स वाई वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग क्वेश्चन है बिकॉज दिस इज द वे दे ट्राई टू प्ले विथ हज हाँ वी ऑल नो दैट नीति आयोग व्हाट व्हाट इज द नीति आयोग ऑन डिफरेन्ट थिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी इज द नीति आयोग इज ए पॉलिसी थिंक टैंक ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया येस इट इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज द आंसर सो हियर वी एनालाइज दैट योर एस एस बी कैन गोइंग टू प्ले विथ यू वार्ड सो यू नीड टू एम्फासाइज द नीति आयोग बिकज लाइक मल्टीपल टाइम द क्वेश्चन फ्रम नीति आयोग हेज बीन आस्क नाउ दे ट्राइंग टू प्ले विथ यू इन डिफरेन्ट वे लाइक द फुल फ्रम ओके इन अबकमिंग डे दे विल प्ले विथ यू लाइक ड्राइड डाउन इट नीति आयोग इज ए स्टैचुअरी बॉडी विल इट करेक्ट और रंग दिस इज द थिंग यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर नो नीति आयोग इज नट ए स्टैचुअर बॉडी इट इज ने इधर ए कन्स्टिट्यूशनल बॉडी बट इट इज ए व्हाट क्रिएटेड बाय द एजुकेटिव रिजोल्यूशन ओके गेट इ माई पॉइंट बहुत बढ़िया देन हाँ ग्रीन प्लानेट इन द सोलार सिस्टम इज यूरानस सो इट इज भेरी लाइक जिके टाइप क्वेश्चन देन एनदर थिंग हुई अम द एभ आर बिल्ट ऑन द टॉप ओपन ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द ओपन ऑफ सोर्स ऑफ डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ओके डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म जस्ट एलिमिनेट द दीक्षा दीक्षा इज ए बेसिकली नॉट ओपन सोर्स डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ओके एंड आरोग्य सेतु कोविन डिजिलकर दिज आर द ओपन सोर्स डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ओके सो ऑप्शन बेसिकली डी इज द आंसर फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड गेट इन माई पॉइंट मुविंग टू द नेक्स्ट Which of the following e-commerce company has launched the uh, Shopsi an app that allow the Indian to start online shop for free? Okay, okay. So which of the following e-commerce company has uh, launched the uh, this app uh, that allow the Indian to start online shop for free? It is the what Flipkart. Okay, Flipkart is the correct answer. Then uh, basically, who of the following agents is mainly responsible for the टर्णिंग ताजमहल येलो ओके सो मेनली हिच गैस पल्यूट द ताजमहल अफ एन दैट इज हाउ वट द सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड वी ऑल नो ओके सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड फॉर द एनवायरमेंट लाइक क्वेश्चन दो जार पेपर यूज इन एट इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट हाँ एंड हुई अफ द फॉलोइंग रेफर टू द स्टेलींग अफ वन्स आइडिया एंड यूज इट फर द ओन बेनिफिट ऑप्शन है कॉपी राइट हैकिंग प्लेगारिजम एंड हाइजैकिंग ओके सो इन रिसर्च देर इज ए टर्म दैट इज नोन एज ए प्लेगारिजम प्लेगारिजम मीन्स व्हाट द सिमिलरिटी ओके इफ यू यूज समवान्स एल्स वर्क विदाउट साइटिंग और विदाउट एक्नोलेजिंग दे वर्क देन इट इज नोन एज द प्लेगारिजम दैट इज ऑप्शन सी इज द आंसर इट्स अ वेरी इंपोर्टाट कन्सेप्ट फर द रिसर्च ओके फर द रिसर्च सो रिसर्च विथ फलो ए के स्टडी मेथड इज कलड व्हाट क्लीनिकल अबियसली सो दिस इज रिसर्च क्वेश्चन एंड एनदर क्वेश्चन इज रिसर्च रिलेटेड दैट लिनियर मॉडल ऑफ द रिसर्च प्रोसेस दैट इज फर्स्ट थियोरी देन हाइपोथेसिस देन सैंपलिंग देन कलेक्शन इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड भैलीडेसन ओके ऑप्शन बी इज द आंसर ओके सो हियर क्वेश्चन विल अराइज इट मे बी मी दैट हू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन सर व्हाई यू सल्विंग द क्वेश्चन इन सच ए हरी बिकज लेट मी टेल यू दैट रिसर्च एनवरमेंट दिज आर द पार्ट ऑफ योर पेपर वन फर यूज इज नेट एंड इन आवर एस एस बी देर इज एस एच नो पेपर वन दैट्स वाई आई एम ट्राई टू क्विकली गो थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन हुए द पॉलिटिकल सैंस क्वेश्चन विल बी कम आई विल ट्राई टू स्टिक एंड एक्सप्लेन दैट थिंग ओके दैट इज हाउ द थिंग्स गेट इन माई पॉइंट ओके वेरी नाइस देन अनदर क्वेश्चन इन हुई अफ द फॉलोइंग रिसर्च मेथड मैनिपुलेसन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ द वेरिएबल रैंडमाइजेशन ऑफ सैंपल आर टू बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट द की वर्ड मैनिपुलेसन कंट्रोल ओके सो दैट इज हाउ वी ऑल नो एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसोर्स ऑप्शन डी इज द आंसर ओके देन मूविंग टू द अनदर क्वेश्चन बेसिक रूल फॉर द एपी ए स्टाइल ऑफ रेफरेंसिंग फॉर्मेट एपी एफ रूल फ्रॉम अमेरिकन साइकोलॉजिकल एसोसिएशन इट्स ए स्टाइल ऑफ रेफरेंसिंग ओके ओके सो इट एलाइज द टाइटल ऑफ शॉर्टर वर्क नो इट इज नॉट द शॉर्टर वर्क इनवर्ट द अथर नेम्स दैट मीन्स फास्ट द सर नेम देन द बेसिकली फास्ट नेम ऑफ अथर इटली साइज द टाइटल ऑफ लंगर वर्क ये आल्फाबेटिकल इंडेक्स रेफरेन्स लिस्ट ये सो एपीए रेफरेन्स लिस्ट एंड योर बेसिकली एम एल ए वर्क सैटेड ओके ओके वर्क सैटेड एंड एम एल ए सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट मीन सी हाँ अप्सन सी इज द आंसर सेकेंड थार्ड एंड फोर्थ वेरी नाइस देन एनदर क्वेश्चन इफ ए रिसर्च और रिजेक्ट द नल हाइपोथेसिस वेन अल्टरनेट हाइपोथेसिस इज ट्रू व्हाट टाइप ऑफ एरर इज कमिटेड ओके सो इट इज वेरी ऑब्वियस क्वेश्चन दैट इज द टाइप वन एरर सो इन रिसर्च 
generally we understand two type of error type 1 error and type 2 error in type 1 error when you reject a null hypothesis though it is correct when you reject a null hypothesis though it is correct that is known as the type 1 error and a type 2 error when you accept a null hypothesis though it wrong when you accept a null hypothesis though it wrong that is known as the type 2 error i i know that it might difficult to you that what does it mean and different thing for the better understanding you can go in depth of its through the google okay because i my objective discuss the political science questions then another question which of the following not a typical purpose of footnote in research writing so in research writing okay in research writing you need to write okay you need to write and within each and every page within each and every page you try to give a footnote a footnote at the last of the page corner you will try to give the footnote which is the some uh, we can say that extra uh, information regarding any concept regarding any term regarding any uh, basically we can say that uh, point okay that is how the footnote okay that is how the footnote footnote means what the citing source of brief in the text okay brief in the text clarifying the complex argument summarizing the research methodology but not alternative interpretation alternative inter interpretation that you are doing literature review and different thing so option c is the answer then moving to the another question objective of literature reviews identify which of the following issue so let's see first what is uh, the literature review literature review means what a systematical systematical organized critical study of the existing body of knowledge for example you are wish to do a research in the social media then you need to go through the different literature article book uh, available with respect to the social media and that you need to study a systematically study with a critical understandings that is known as your the literature review what the literature review literature review that what already known about the area if you do the literature review you will get the a uh, brief information regarding your area second what are the significant controversy what is the debatable political stand point debatable point in this field you can know also by the reading literature review uh, and third thing what concept and theory are relevant to this area so what is the relevance of this literature what is the relevance of this body of knowledge that is the third then fourth are there any inconsistency in the finding of this area that you trying to find the gap through the literature review you can find the gap of the research so this is how your literature review and hence option b is answer the correct all of the the fourth statement is correct option b is the answer then moving to the another question which one of the following is a non parametric test option d is the answer chi square x square test by chi square we call then arrange the proper order of the following uh, likert type of attitude scale so it is a type of uh, uh scale who measure the attitude of the uh, your participants or we can say that uh, your population okay okay so that is how you need to remember the correct sequence and uh, i am going to quickly present that first uh, correct sequence uh, that first is your strongly disagree then your disagree then undecided then agree then strongly disagree so answer is the of this question is option a okay quickly uh, now the political science questions okay now the political science question who is called the father of negative liberty negative liberty father of negative liberty option a kant immanuel kant b herbert marcuse c j s mill and d hayek so the correct answer for this question that uh, you can eliminate kant would not be okay herbert marcuse no it is a critical thinker no then j s mill j s mill is the thinker who consider as a transition to the negative to the positive liberty okay not the father of negative liberty but hayek could be considered uh, in the context of the this question as a father of the negative liberty okay as per the ssb answer key okay okay then moving to the another question who believe that justice require equal access to the advantage for all the people it said by whom the option a robert nozick b jacques derrida uh, c j a cohen option d walzer okay justice require equal access advantage for all the people that means the opportunity concept equal opportunity so answer of this question is robert nozick exact the statement said by robert nozick you can also eliminate it because 
regarding justice jackis dorida is not famous for that g a kohan is also not uh, but walzer and robot nagic okay walzer and robot nagic equal access walzer can never say this thing because uh, michael walzer is a communitarian thinker and you know communitarian thinker always believe the difference concept they emphasize the differentiation in community the different uh, distribution of the uh, resource uh, according to the different uh, social needs that is how the social community okay according to the different uh, need of the community the distribution of resource uh, should be a place that is how walzer community and thinker they cannot talk about equal access so it is a robot logic obviously we can also use the here eliminator method okay option a is the answer okay and this kind of method is known as what the elimination method okay moving to the next who coined the eco feminism okay so the answer of the, this question is frank west ebonon okay option a is the answer now eco feminism coined by whom okay so frank west ebonon so one thing is clear that you have to cover the uh, different thinker and the term coined by the different thinker okay i have already taken a class in my ssb lecture complete paper solution ssb 2023 there i have discussed the important thinker and the term coined okay so you should refer that video and a playlist already available in your youtube channel so option a that the who coined the ecofeminism frank west d abanon okay option a is the answer moving to the next question who argue that conservatism is not a creed or a doctrine but a disposition to enjoy the present so option a oxford benjamin desrali then your james madison and option d uh, tokyo valley okay so the correct answer for this question it's very like uh, uh, very uh, like top question we can say that option a oxford but it's very easy question if you study about the conservatism because conservatism out of the four thinker only michael oxford is a conservatism thinker okay michael oxford is a conservatism thinker so it may be me who can ask the question sir how can how can the conservatism as a political ideology important for ssb lecture mind your all this conservatism ideology is not mentioned in our ssb lecture but as per the mr mrft it is follow the syllabus of ugc net okay so for the sake of the student of ugc net it is important but i don't say here it is important for the your ssb lecture and pgt this question particular this question because conservatism ideology is not part of our ssb lecture and pgd syllabus getting my point by solving one or two question is nothing to harm to our political science student okay i believe that so option a the michael oxford said the thing that uh, the conservatism is not a doctrine but a disposition disposition to enjoy the present okay option a is the answer then another question both body question identify the wrong pair okay wrong pair the tokyo valley the liberal tradition in america are in nisbet conservatism robot nozick anarchy state in utopia 1974 and ernest barker principle of social and political theory so the correct answer for this question is option a that uh, the liberal tradition in america louis harts okay louis harts the liberal tradition of america louis harts so i will uh, personal request to all of you we should at least learn know about the different book of d tokyo valley because because as much as uh, i have analyzed it d tokyo valley is always in the questions be it your ugc net be it your ssb pgt lecture mr ft cvt pg everywhere the tokyo valley always present okay and one more another thing that your ugc net ask that d tokyo valley famous for the concept of tyranny of majority okay they will confuse you write down js mill and d tokyo valley but you don't need to confuse you need to remember d tokyo valley alex d tokyo valley is famous for the concept of tyranny of majority though js mills also talks about that thing but the main credit goes to the d tokyo valley okay okay and he also wrote a book the um, um, democracy in america okay so liberal tradition in america the correct answer option a because liberal tradition of in america is not it was not written by d tokyo valley but by the louis harts okay moving to the another question identify the wrong one uh, basically feature of the post modernism okay you need to find the wrong one so option a post modernism recognize the pluralism okay okay option b post modernism criticize the meta narrative option c post modernism is a reaction against traditionalism option d post modernism reject the principles of binary position opposition 
सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स सी ऑप्शन सी इज द आंसर पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज ए रिएक्शन अगेंस्ट ट्रेडिशनलिज्म दिस इज योर ओके इट मे बी मी हु आज द क्वेश्चन सो सर व्हाट इज पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म सो फॉर द पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट फीचर ऑफ द पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर इन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट मी ब्रीफ अबाउट दैट व्हाई नॉट द सी स्टेटमेंट इज रिलेटेड टू द पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म बिकॉज पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज ए रिएक्शन अगेंस्ट द मॉडर्निज्म नॉट द ट्रेडिशनलिज्म ओके ओके गेटिंग माई पॉइंट देर इज अ फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी इन पॉलिटिकल थ्योरी ट्रेडिशनलिज्म मॉडर्निज्म एंड पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म ट्रेडिशनलिज्म बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यू एथिक्स मॉरालिटी ओके दे आर आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन कंटेम्पलेसन दे बेस्ड ऑन द वी कैन से दैट सिस्टम ऑफ द चर्च ब्लाइंड बिलीफ फेथ सिस्टम दैट इज ट्रेडिशनलिज्म बट मॉडर्निज्म बेस्ड ऑन योर साइंस लॉजिक टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज द मॉडर्निज्म्स ओके गेटिंग माई पॉइंट बट पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज ए काउंटर आइडियोलॉजी टूअर्ड्स द मॉडर्निज्म हुई टॉक्स अबाउट साइंस हुई टॉक्स अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्टिविटी हुई इज टॉक्स अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म काउंटर द मॉडर्निज्म आइडिया नॉट द ट्रेडिशनलिज्म आइडिया सो हियर कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज रिक्वायर ओके ऑप्शन सी इज द आंसर दैट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर देन मुविंग टू द अनदर क्वेश्चन सो सो आई विल स्कीप दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट फ्रेम properly hmm. Hmm. identify the wrong pair of the author books okay option a fanon dying colonialism option b hannah arendt human condition antonio gramsci to the two fascisms and option d mary wollstone crack women and power a manifesto women and power a manifesto okay so the correct answer wrong you need to find the wrong okay so the answer of this question is option d mary wollstone crack women and power this book is not written by mariel stone crap this book is written by the mary beard okay mary beard wrote a book women and power a manifesto women and power a manifesto mary beard wrote this book remember in our feminism we learn different uh, feminist thinker in their book and it is part of our syllabus for ssb okay and the two fascism wrote by the antonio gramsci it's a new information i hope uh, uh, you, we should take the note of it okay the two fascism the antonio gramsci okay guys get me a point that you need to remember okay guys this is all about from mindset for the today session uh, i hope this much information is very uh, helpful to you in upcoming session we will try to cover the rest of the question for mr pft because it help to understand the different uh, new information and uh, it develop a analytical skills along with it also revise the uh, our syllabus with the help of the questions okay so, and you like my effort do subscribe uh, do press the bell icon and do share with your friend thank you guys thank you so much